I'm right next to a fire. Like, if we just point that out, I'm next to a fire right now. I'm the closest mm -hmm. one, and I'm the coldest right now. That's true. I, uh, how is the temperature on me? I, is there a temperature gauge? Is yeah, it yeah, like green where right. my chest is and then my hand? You are 75. Is that you? Is that you? No. That's not you? No. I mean, the light is, but doing that shouldn't see. What are you shooting right now? Do you not like that? Are you? Oh, maybe they're scared by it. They think you're going to shoot Nick. It's okay. This device just takes the temperature of the room. Whoa. What? It is not. It did not. Whoa, my that. arm, like, went fucking numb. Yeah, oh, so that's good. Yeah, that was a, it was a, like a red light. It's still doing it. Yeah. It's okay. It's not a gun. It's not a gun. I thought it was a gun. Yeah, we're not trying to hurt him. All that does is read his temperature so we can see. Yeah, cool. You're not there. Yeah. So, so we moved up here about 25 years ago, and there was a couple, George and I think Lorraine Paris, maybe is her last name. Pardon me for being a little, we can get the details later. And they, they managed like this, the gift shop, they would, people would pay to come in and visit. We met them, and he would tell people stories. He had a nice beard, I think, and he'd tell people stories. Well, then he died. And she wasn't sure if she had the confidence to manage it by herself, but she stayed on it for a year or two. And then all of a sudden, people started coming into the harbor in their boats out on Lake Huron and, and came up and said, hey, Lorraine, when did you start turning the light on? Like, when did the light become active again? As in, somebody flipped the switch and turned on the light. And I believe there never was electricity, like an electrical light bulb up there. Because mm -hmm. um, 40 years later, after this was built, they built a new lighthouse down the road with, with yep. cool light. They said the box for it is like right there. So like you can't turn it on, it's literally ripped out. Yeah. And so, it's like back there. So Lorraine felt that George was lighting up the lighthouse to say, I'm here with you to give her confidence and, and move on. So that's that's how the story goes. Is that George right there? No, that's uh, Patrick. That's, Patrick. that's the first one. That guy's the first one. Yeah, Here's the first keeper. And so we, what we can do is when we go well, in there, we can ask for George. Because like I have, a, I have a strong feeling that the spirits in here don't connect with that lighthouse. I feel like they are in here because, because they're that memorabilia in here. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that yeah, they are attached to the island. Listen, this is where you live. You go out there to for tasks. Because every yeah, time yeah. we well, talk about the lighthouse, too, they've never the acknowledged. That That's true. Here that do not belong here, essentially, right? So like, you know, like this guy, Private John, he didn't grow up in this house. Here, but it's but here. That was brought here. So maybe he came with it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. They, they can attach to stuff like that easily. If there's five entities that could potentially be in this room, then you know, we know one of them says he's supposed to be here. I wonder if Private John felt guilty for some of the people there's, he shot. There's a lot of things, because like obviously we connect ourselves with things or people. And so if it was a big enough thing in his life, which a war was, must have been a really big defining moment in his life. That is his honorable discharge thing. That's his achieving moment of saying, hey, you know. It blipped, it blipped, it blipped, yep. Oh, whoa. Honorable discharge. That was your achieving moment. That's why you think you're connected to it? Because that was probably, was that the best like, moment in your life to know that you've survived the war and that we won? Crazy Glad to be done. Like that was his achieving moment. Or miss mm -hmm. the war, miss the action. Do you notice that it's not just one faulty device? Yeah. yeah. It's all of them going off at once. So like that just debunks the fact that it's like, oh, this is defective and it's just going. But off. I don't have this flashlight, which is making nope. that one go. Off. Right, and like it he, went off you're... as soon as we said that was the achieving moment, the honorable distance. All of them did. Which is what caused 
our findings. Well, that being why he may be attached to that. You pointed out that he was alive at the same time he was alive, but they weren't in the same area. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was alive, what, 1860-something? Not Yeah, he was the first, right? So that would mean that yeah, he was alive in 1860-something. And that means he got discharged in 1865. And this, he got this job in 1864, right? They might have knew each other. Like, they, they were living at the same time, but they might have never even known that's each other. Question. But that's the thing. What? What's his name? Patrick. Patrick and John, do you two know each other? Yours lit up. Our mine's not. Did you know each other before passing? I know some might not know their past, but yeah. it's kind of hard to. Need Robin Spencer here. Huh. He just was grew up here and just would know a lot of his, mm. more of the history. Mm -hmm. He'd probably enjoy hanging out. That would be cool. So they possibly know each other. They, yeah, they. Do you have, if you've met each other? Let's see. Have you become? How should I put that? Have you become friends after? Like, uh, like more so recent? Yeah, are you more friends now than you were in the past? I know. It's kind of... I'm Do kind you of guys thinking. know that you're both here? Do you guys understand why you are both here? Patrick might have passion for the lighthouse. Yeah. A lot of families still around here. There were a big group of Garrity's, a big family that rented the Presque Lodge. You had a Garrity family, one wing of them, and they rented the Presque Lodge. Every year they come up and stay there. Really? And a uh, little family reunion for one branch. Where's um? Where's your son? Here. Okay. Does that make you happy to know that? That your family still comes and visits? And they're alive? That's a question. It's like, do they know? I know. I feel like we need to kind of make that a statement, but I don't yeah, want it to like cut off all activity. What did you just say? I said, I wonder if they know. Like about do them. You, if they know. I asked, I said, should we tell them? And then that went off, so. Yeah. Garrity, Patrick, and Anna Garrity, you have a lot of family still around. I mentioned my daughter's friend Anna. Well, her mom had like 10 sisters and one brother, and they all still share a cabin on Grand Lake. They all take one week at a time, and fun Irish family, that's for sure. Boy, they get loud and <laughs> like to drink and, they're just, and be happy and celebrate with each other. You know what's crazy? It's like two of them are here. Yours is going off, yours is going mm -hmm. off, mine's not going off. Really? Your yours is not been, dead, though. No, it, well, yeah, but... I see what you mean, though. It's still going off, though, like at times. That seemed like Patrick was like right there in the middle of that conversation. Oh, yeah, the Garrity's, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that's exactly who we are. Yep. I don't know I if you feeling. leave and go visit them, or if you can't, and you're hearing stories for the first time. Maybe they can't. Am I telling you stories for the first time? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Stories of his family? So he is, he's stuck here. Are you allowed to leave here? Maybe not allowed. Can you leave here? That's it's like allowed. they can't answer questions that they well, don't know. Well, that's a no. Yeah, that when they don't answer, know. it's a yeah, no. It or maybe a quick blink might be a quick no well, rather maybe. than, yeah. I know, should we define, like, because obviously we've never defined, like, if the light means yes or it means Oh, I've said that. Like, yeah, turn, okay. I said that in the beginning. All right. Patrick and Anna Garrity. Do you like us telling stories about your family? Maybe it's just Patrick. Patrick? It'd be interesting if they were actually able to like, like the family members to come here. Yeah. Oh, yeah right. Would you like your family members to come here and visit? Wait, is that your camera? I it's a beef. Wait, where is that? That's, oh, over, that's there. over there. Yeah, yeah no, there. that's not the camera. And that's not the camera. Yeah, so they really they like us sitting like back us down. Moving around. That's yeah. true. That's, that's a that's in my EMF. That's a recorder that records everything. Yeah, but the other ones, the K two meter that was going off. Yeah, the EMF meter. Yeah, look, Matt, you're going off. Yeah, I know. I saw it earlier. That's crazy. 
I don't know. This, isn't that so crazy, though? Like we sat down as soon as we sat We've down and relaxed? We've been walking around here, absolutely nothing. We sit down for five minutes and just get a random reading. We didn't say anything. Right. It's like it's, it's interesting that it's attached with the fire, though. Like yeah. too. Um, we turned the fire on. The fire now it's that's true. So like we're, before, it was early, so we had the fire off, and yeah. then like once it gets later, we uh, turned the fire on, welcomed everybody in, and then it yeah. just picked up significantly. Mm -hmm. And then we turned off the fire, and like okay, it's time for bed, basically. Oh so well, yeah, uh, like, yeah. That too, that's true. Like, and then it's like to turn the furnace on. You want to turn all that? Like, they might not know, know what a furnace. What's that? I don't even. That wasn't one of my devices. That was like the door opening. Uh, the door came from over here. I heard was it? Here. It might have been my thing, but it's usually like, you know, beep, 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 beep. Wait, was that, Wait. The, was that the thing that was on the floor? Oh, my K2 did just die. That's Or not my K2, my, my voice recorder just died. Oh. That's weird. Okay, that's good. Well, I'll turn the other one on. Unless it's because the one went deep. Yeah. So much, and it the battery of the other That's true. Thank you, buddy. Sorry. You the right? Yeah, I got it. Now, I don't know how long this one will last, though. It's funny that they like to There we go. This is uh, sitting down in the fireplace. It's on the camera. Yeah. Well, let's, let's see who we're talking. Yeah, let's see what well, like they're saying. You're the one that has all the stories and stuff, too. Yeah, let's see yeah. who we're talking with. Um, are we talking with Private John? Um, Patrick G's wife is named Mary, I guess. Oh. Mary? 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 Patrick, Mary. are you here with us too? I said, is Patrick G's wife also Anna? And she said Mary. Oh. Okay. Mary. So Anna John. is going to be John's connection. So then, Mary, are you here? So it went off when we said Private John and said Patrick. Is there anyone with us? If so, please light up our lights to let us know. Is there anyone else that we haven't? Oh, oh, that one went. That. Oh, thank you. That was a. That was yours in your pocket. No, that was a new e other EVP. Might have to use yours. <laughs> uh, you can try finding. Cool. Are you able to send me that data? Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, we're gonna share a file. Yeah, hell yeah. I'll come over tomorrow or something. Give you some more data, some of my data and stuff too. Right there. Copy it over. It's crazy. Are you sitting with Matt? Or are you standing near Matt? Do you like the stool? Are we asking too many questions? <laughs> I think it's like, it's lonely. Like, obviously, like, we can learn so much about them, but, you know. We got to think, if you're trapped in an area with people that you're trapped with for 200 years, you're going to know a lot about them or you yeah, know, and they're like, you're bored of them. So they probably are curious about us. I think that's why they activated a lot when we started telling our stories. Even as soon as we sat down and started talking about like our stories again, they started going off. Yeah, I mean, you know, I can talk about me. I haven't really said anything. Do any of you have kids? I do. How many kids? One. I have a six-year-old. Four year old Boy. Does he like to kind of go along with some of the stuff? Or is it scary or not? I don't know. Oh, wow. It's red. I haven't let him yet. I talk to him about, like, he says he sees ghosts and stuff, and I try and not get him to be scared. You know what I mean? Because, I mean, I do too. So I, like, try to tell him, you know, hey, you know, it's okay. You know, don't be scared and stuff unless, but tell me about it just in case something is just weird. Just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I see something in my room. Hold on. Let me get my camera. <laughs> something under my bed. I believe you. Yeah. Probably is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you in, in the room? Well, maybe you can tell that, as opposed to, I think if I was trying to communicate, if you said, yeah, I used to sail on the Great Lakes, mm -hmm. um, or whatever, and they might go, yeah, and something might, they might relate to it. When I said, Taryn was born here. Yep, it went off. Like, yeah. like, I was born here, too. You know, maybe. maybe I, yep. I have 
I'm never right. drove a boat or sailed a boat before. You ever been in a boat? Uh, I've been in a couple boats. I've been in some uh, deep sea fishing boats because I, I, I love fishing. Boat. No fishing is what? what I like to do. You were in a submarine? I was like, I took a submarine one time. No. I've done a whole bunch of boat stuff, but I did take a submarine one time. This is my first time in a, in a lighthouse. Yeah, me nice. too. Yeah, me too. We went up there and it was... The light was on and everything. Yeah, and the light was on. <laughs> oh, hey, look, 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 look. Yeah, it went off and we said the light was on. Is the light on? I have right the new lighthouse. <laughs> Can you turn this lighthouse light on? Can you, uh, light it to flame? Look. Sometimes when I do this, it does. So that's like heavy movement. Yeah. 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 So you just shift in your hand, but yep. whenever you start to turn it on, just do this. Did you used to light the lighthouse? So are we talking to Patrick again? Yeah. yeah. Hi, Patrick. Welcome back. Is your wife's name Mary? Why do you keep asking me about my wife? <laughs> right, like... <laughs> Leave my wife alone. <laughs> it's, just, it's just Pat here. Just talk to me, guys. <laughs> Patrick, did you have children? No. My wife did. Did you hear footsteps? Yeah, yeah I, footsteps? I just heard footsteps. I heard footsteps. I heard footsteps in here too. Like it was like thump. Yeah, thump, I heard thump. It too. We just came from upstairs. Are you up there again? Patrick, are That's you true. alone? Patrick, are you with people? Did you disappear because you were walking around the grounds and checking it out? Maybe. Mm-hmm. But, think about those old days, like, when we go do something, men would sit and have their scotch or whatever, mm -hmm. you know, go have cigars. It's all guys here, so maybe... Take a whittle for a couple hours. We're like, hours. bring your wife. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That'd be offensive and weird. I know, that's mm -hmm. what I was thinking. Like, quit asking me about my wife. That's true. I want to know what they did for fun. This. <laughs> Smoke cigars, so drink. Musical instruments. Mm -hmm. It would be interesting to have a little guitar here or something. Oh, yeah. Or something to see. Some music. Let's see. Just some period type. Of, yeah, I'll, I'll bring another organ again. Patrick and John, if you can hear us, have you guys ever traveled? Travel? Well, you think if he was part of the Civil War, I mean, that means you had to go, I mean, for one, the South. So even yeah. if it was just in Kentucky, he had to travel a whole state. You yeah, know what I mean? Up to yeah. when you said Kentucky. Have you been to Kentucky before? About Tennessee. I go by horse, mm. or canoe, boat. Canoe? Yeah, canoe. canoe. None of that one. Canoe? Continue with just the lighthouse. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't know. Are you wanting to try to do the lighthouse with us, or are you wanting to go? I don't know. I might go out there just to check it out, see what's happening. Who, okay. who knows? We can go out there, and there could be nothing. Right. Answered. They still haven't answered if we're all going there. If they keep... Do you not... They don't know. We have to ask yeah. the other person. Yeah, I guess they That's don't know. That's in the lighthouse. Can we stay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can we be in the lighthouse? Is there a person named George there? That's true. Well, they said they know who is in well, the does lighthouse. That, that mean, Patrick, are you the one in the lighthouse? Patrick, are you in here with us still? Because, I mean, you know. Mm -hmm. oh, there he is. Oh, yeah. yeah, so Patrick, he's with me. So you must be talking to John. That would make sense. You're talking to John. You're talking because you asked questions to John and it answered yeah. you. So, you. so that makes John, sense. John, are you over there? John? Still here? <laughs> <Over> here. <laughs> okay. So they both Andrew, came. Do you still take care of the lighthouse? Flipped once. Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. Only 
you yeah, just maybe not much to take care of these days. You just kind of walk the ground to make sure everything's ah, safe. Oh. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Damn. That's what happened again. There's all not here. much to take care yeah. of these days. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, you called it heavily. Yeah. Not much to do Does that make you sad? Does it make you relieved? Does it make you feel like that you're about to retire? I don't know if that's a word then though. They Do kind of work like till the end. Do you like taking care of the lighthouse? Hard work I bet. Patrick, is the lighthouse running right now? I know it would be. Could you get the lighthouse light on for us so that way we could see out there? We might have a boat come in. We may, we may need the light on. Would you be able to turn it on? Oh, Whoa. Yeah, okay. We We're about to go out there, so is there any way you can get it turned on for us? <laughs> All right. I don't. I don't waste the light for people. I waste the We're, light for boats. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're gonna go out to the lighthouse, and we would love it if you could turn on the light so our boat can see. After this, we went inside the lighthouse, where we only got one blip of information. Good news is, though, we did keep a camera inside the lighthouse at the same time as we were inside the house but we didn't capture any of the lighthouse turning on, at least from the inside. We can't say, however, if it came on from the outside because we didn't have a camera by the harbor. But after this, we said our goodbyes and headed off. Good news is, is we did find a lot of good information, but what really made a difference is that we got to talk and understand the stories of John and Patrick Garrity, the Civil War vet and the lighthouse owner at one time. It was good to hear their stories and understand what was going on. It, it felt good knowing that they had somebody to talk to after all this time. And it's also good to hear that Patrick's family stays nearby at times. And if anyone's here of the Garrity family that can hear this, please make sure to go by and say hi to your great, 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 great grandfather or uncle or whatever it is to you. He's still there and he's still watching over the lighthouse. I want to thank the Historical Society one more time for letting us come in and investigate this location. If you are in the northern Michigan area, please make sure to stop in and say hi. They are great people and the place is very beautiful and is being worked on this year so it can stand a little longer throughout the seasons. Thank you again to Swifty, Brotacular, Barry, and Terrence, everybody that was there that night. Thank you for everybody who came, and I truly appreciate all of you and all the information you shared with me. I hope one day we can do another investigation again, or at least be able to say hey. Thank you again for understanding that this does take a long time to edit, but also that I went in and tried to do new things so that it was more entertaining and fun for everyone to watch. I want to thank you guys again for understanding that I did go through some personal stuff and that did add on to the time of this edit. Hopefully next time I won't be going through something again like this, but it took a while to heal and took a while for me to get back up on my feet. And I appreciate everyone for understanding and, and I really hope that you guys enjoyed this. Again, please go make sure to check out this museum. It's a beautiful place, a great stand in history, and it is amazing. And I will be stopping back there again in the future. Links and descriptions down below about Brotacular, Swifty, videos we've done together, and information about the lighthouse itself on where you can check it out and where its location is. Thank you again, and I hope you enjoy it. I'll see you all in the next one. See you then, guys.